Okay, let's see if EA is stuck to their guns. Let's go. Multiplayer. Failed to connect to the EA online. Please try again. Damn. What about co-op? Failed to connect. Damn. End of an era, huh? It's over. However, despite all that, a few months ago, that was not always the case. Battlefield 3. Here we go. Um... Oh, that is not the shoot button. What the hell? Wait. Oh, what the hell? I shoot with the bumpers? Eww. I have to shoot uh, with um, L1 and R1. I have to like ADS and shoot with those buttons. That is so weird. So, I never played Battlefield 3. I played Battlefield Bad Company 2, which most of you can agree was one of the best Battlefield games. Am I right? Mm. Exactly. And then fast forward a few years after that, I played Battlefield 4. And that is my extent of the Battlefield games. Now later in that first match, I did get my first trophy called MIA. For taking the dog tags off my first enemy. I see I see my first target. I need to... I need to... Uh. Let's go! Got my first kill, let's go! I need to I need to play around with my, my sensitivity. Come on, get over there, come on. Oh, he's just standing still for some reason. I need to... I don't know what happened there, but... Frame rate or lag, I don't know. Damn. MIA, well, here we go. Let's start the battlefield journey. So with me popping my first trophy, which begins this crazy journey, let me just quickly summarize what I'm about to get into. Because Battlefield 3 comes in at a 6 out of 10, but will require one playthrough and can take up to 60 hours. And not only am I going to try to get the base game, but I also want to complete everything in the game. That includes all the DLC. And because I wanted to complete everything in the game in such a short space of time, I had to resort to my only option. Yeah, I'm boosting this. I have like just under two months to complete everything in the game and if I do everything legit I don't think I'm gonna have enough time so right now I'm farming XP with these guys and as you can see I'm only on level 2 and I need to get to level 45 and uh, besides just leveling up like I said I want to do everything in the game so not only was I trying to get all the ribbons and trying to level up but as I mentioned I also want to get all the DLC trophies so I'm just thinking now I have no idea how I'm going to edit this video because this is basically my multiplayer experience. Um, right now it's my turn because we're all boosting as you can see like all these people are just standing around. Because we all want to get the platter before the servers die. Um, so we're shooting this guy. So if it's not my turn then basically I'm just going to be one of those guys standing there and the other people are going to kill me for their trophy you know. So I just have to get a kill with this and then I'll get a trophy but um... Yeah, if I don't if I don't show every single trophy, well, um, this is why because it's it's this is all I'm doing basically. I should get a trophy now, by the way. There we go, third way. So yeah, so you're not really missing out on much if I don't show everything. And that essentially was my multiplayer experience to earn all the online trophies for the most part. Now every now and again, I would try to log on to a normal public game just so I can get some sort of feeling on what the true multiplayer experience would be like before I ruin it by boosting everything. Please, I hope this works. Oh, it did work. Let's go. We got the scanner bolt. And I think I unlocked all the things for that stupid crossbow that I'll never use. And I'll shoot get in the trophy. Handyman. Let's go. What? Probably the worst trophy in the, in the DLC, man. What an annoying trophy. So with that trophy trigger, there's only two more trophies that is needed to be completed for the multiplayer. The first one being reaching level 45 so I can get the trophy called Colonel. But just before that, I cleaned up the last few ribbons so I can get the trophy called Decorator. With the help of these guys, these uh, <coughs> this should be the last vehicle that I have to disable, not destroy. So I have to just shoot this a few times until it gets disabled. So I just have to shoot this. Disabled, got my ribbon. And I should get the decorated trophy. Wait for it. I think. Decorated. There we go. And the last thing what I have to do now is to get to level 45 so I can get the trophy kernel. And that means the multiplayer trophies and all the DLC would be completed. So here we are again. Uh, the final stretch for Battlefield multiplayer. I'm level 44. Now I need to get to level 45. You can see how much XP I'm getting by like farming these guys. There's like four of them. Yeah, there's four of them. Killing four of them with explosives and getting all this XP. So it's pretty fast to level up. Uh, you have been promoted. There we go. Wait, 44. Wait, now I'm level 44. Okay, that's confusing. Okay. 
Well, now I'm level 44, and now we just keep doing until I'm level 45. We know the drill. Um, but yeah, I can't exactly just leave these guys once I get to level 44. And I can't start... Well, I can't leave these guys once I get to level 45 because I need to... I need to stand there, and one of them have to take my place. So we're taking turns, basically, and I can't just be an asshole and leave. Uh? Wait, what? There's the trophy. Okay, I guess I'm level 45. I, I didn't see me level up. I'm telling you, this thing is confusing, but I got the trophy. Doesn't matter. We done, apparently. So it's me finally reaching level 45. That marks the ending for the multiplayer grind. And with the multiplayer all done and dusted, that means I can now move on to the campaign. And this game has two types of campaigns, the single player and the co-op one. And obviously I prioritize completing the co-op campaign first, because once the server dies, the co-op mode will also be completely inaccessible. Oh, get across! Come on. Yeah, 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 I'm getting to you, but I'm getting stuck on like the smallest bullshit. Okay. Boy, Srisul! Oh, there we go. He's from the roof. Where the hell are you? Okay, I'm going back to the roof. Car lover, I don't know what that is for, but we got a, a, a trophy. And I want to get all the trophies, so that's something. So there's a total of six co-op missions in the game, and despite how straightforward some of them can be, there will be a few challenges along the way. Fire from the sky. Do not tell me I have to fly a helicopter in this mission. <laughs> oh, please don't please don't please don't shoot me down oh please no <sighs> when does this mission end do not like in this mission like show like uh, like a helicopter an enemy helicopter comes out with jet and be like take down the enemy helicopter and then I must chase them I will not be able to do that okay that's the objective done Untouchable, I don't know what it's for, but it should be the end. Oh, it's the end. That was easily the most stressful mission so far. One of the biggest challenges is to complete all co-op missions on the hardest difficulty. And despite me being absolutely terrified flying a helicopter on the hardest difficulty, there will be a few miscellaneous trophies and a few missions that will be significantly easier. Like for example, this trophy called In the Nick of Time, where I have to disable a bomb in under 20 seconds. I have to disfuse this bomb with like the, the timer being under 20 seconds, I think. Okay. Boom, bam, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. So on this hard playthrough, which was essentially a blind playthrough, the main objective wasn't to focus on any miscellaneous trophies. If I managed to trigger any miscellaneous trophy, then obviously cool, but the main objective was to complete all the missions on the hardest difficulty, because in that way we can always go back and clean up some of the miscellaneous ones I've missed on an easier difficulty. Take the shot, I got you. I think that's all. Oh, I think that's the final mission for co-op. Here it comes. Army of two. And Tura. There we go. Okay, now we have to go back and, uh, well, clean up the uh, miscellaneous stuff. Now for the final two co-op trophies and technically the final two multiplayer trophies for this game because those two final co-op trophies is going to require a lot of coordination, a lot of practice and according to PSA Profiles Trophy Guide, it's also required to have a microphone for better communication with your partner because these two final trophies require stealth in order to obtain them. Okay, this mission is one of two missions where we have to stealth and uh, I'm... You know, I'm a, I'm a pretty good fan of uh, a good fan. I'm, I like stealth. Is what I'm trying to say. I like stealth. Um, but stealth in cop can be uh, a bit technical. What? Okay, this is gonna be very finicky. I guess that worked, okay. We did play through this, obviously, on our first run on the hardest difficulty, so we have some idea on the, the map layout. But obviously, we need to do this in stealth. On the hard mode, we just kind of guns blazed it, basically. Andy. We've been compromised. Yeah. We were post aiming at the guy. See, this is why we need a microphone, man. For better communication. God damn it. We basically came to the conclusion that obviously I shoot first, this guy shoots like the moment he sees me because even though it looks like it's delay on my screen, it's basically instantly for, for him. So as you see, 
now look at that it's like a pretty long delay but uh, he shoots all the cameras and i shoot all the all the people basically so that's basically the um the strategy we came up with okay like here so he still shoots all the uh cameras basically and i shoot all the, the people and because uh i'm shooting first boom the, the cameras basically are pretty static where the enemies they like move and over here this is pretty awkward because these guys have to shoot as you can see the, the enemies they kind of like move back and forth so i have to shoot them pretty fast or kind of like shoot him in the shoulder and it will penetrate and will shoot the other guy in the head killing them both clean okay this is the furthest we've ever made it okay so i think there's a guy here it's two guys here, okay. Did it not show the hitbox? Did it fail now? Because of that. Okay, this is easily the, the most stressful part. The spot we have to like shoot these guys. Because uh, my teammate over here, he's just aiming at the camera. And I have to just... Just wait until they line up. And as you can see, they very fidgety. You just gotta be patient now. There's no time limit, so there's that. <sighs> Don't wanna mess up. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Ugh! Do it already. Boom. Oh, thank God we made it. Whew. Okay. Um, can this box not follow me? Okay. So this is where it either glitched or this guy was wearing a helmet or something. So maybe I was just too close to the wall or something and it didn't register. I don't know. Okay, let's just focus. Boom, dead. Is that it? We're done? Okay, I don't want to run just in case it was not done. There we go. Boom. Okay, there we go. It's kind of satisfying when you can do it. Holy. Let's go. That trophy right there was only a glimpse on what's to come. Because for the final trophy called Bulza, we had to stealth through an entire different mission without alerting any enemies. So, the last time we stealth, that was a, a small piece of... A chapter because once we completed that chapter we um well that was only the, f the first part of that mission and that mission basically had more content after that stealth sequence so in this mission we have to start through the entire thing or at least not be caught through the entire thing so we know where enemies spawn and stuff like that it's just um we weren't exactly perfect on our on the first playthrough okay what the hell just happened so he'll shoot a guy that's like out of my view and then I will shoot this guy with shoot both these guys with one bullet okay I didn't do that I'll shoot both these guys with one bullet and wait for it boom clean and then god damn it did he not shoot so this is the hard part uh we have to shoot these guys pretty fast so that's three and then there'll be more quickly move so each like orange square has three people three enemies on them so you have to shoot them pretty quickly oh uh, see they they on the phone or whatever or cooling the heads up okay we went went past this part it's this part where they it's very tricky okay I think it's like we're, we're running through it pretty well um so it's it's kind of in 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 uh, never mind because we're not using any mics and because there's no cameras in this uh, mission i'm shooting all the guys on the right screen on the right hand side so this is how we're communicating without any microphones so because i'm shooting all the guys on the right he's shooting that one guy on my left and then i'm shooting both these guys with a single bullet and that's kind of how we've been communicating and it's been working pretty well actually Boom. clean 
Okay. <sighs> okay, after this part, it gets even more um, awkward because now three uh, enemies spawn. And as I just mentioned, uh, I shoot the guy on the, the right and he shoots the guy on the left. So basically, if I shoot my guy first, I have to shoot the guy in the middle pretty fast and he must do the same. If he shoots this guy, then he must aim to the guy in the middle pretty fast as well. So we kind of just went till they lined up and then take them out quickly. Oh, this controller, the lamppost. Okay, that works. It's fine. So hopefully if you watching, you kind of understand the strategy. So shoot the guy on the right, which is this guy, and then shoot the guy in the middle. Oh, uh, I went too far. I didn't know he was going to stop so soon. Okay, this is always one where we mess up. Shoot the guy on the right. Boom, guy in the middle. Quick. Boom. Let's go. Okay. Whew. Okay, there should be a sniper. And then the sniper can see you sometimes. So you have to shoot him pretty quickly. Shit. Oh, shit. We're panicking. Okay, I think we are both panicking right there. Because the sniper can see you and the mission can fail. Well, not fail. It just it can continue, but the objective would fail. So continue shooting the guy on the right. And he shoots the guy on the left. Boom clean now there's gonna be two guys walking like from this grass area from the right side and then uh, after that there will be three guys walking from the main door so wait until they there we go so three guys walk here and then these guys are timed so even though they stand they do move they do like stand and then they start walking again so you have to kill them before they start walking so they lined up like that and then kill them and then he kills him I'm dying Dude took a while to die. Let's go. Okay. Ugh. This is so stressful. Okay. There's two people here, but I don't know if you can shoot the windows or but the window can block him, but either way. Let's just try. Hope for the best. That's my guy dead. Okay. This is the furthest we've ever made it. Holy. Okay. My watch is in my neck right now. Okay. So hopefully we don't mess up now. I do not want to restart the game. Okay. But if we have to restart, then obviously so be it. But I really hope we can get this. Okay. Just looking for any enemies. Okay. Is that all? Is that all? Shit, I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know if that messed up because I... Okay, there. What? Oh, there we go, bullseye! Oh, thank God! I thought I actually messed up. I'm, I'm killing this guy, by the way. I don't need to, but I want to. Let's go! Oh, there we go. That's basically the platinum secured because I have all the multiplayer and all the co-op done. And I'm pretty sure you don't need any internet connection to play the, the single player campaign. So with the co-op campaign now all completed and behind us, there's only one part of the game that is needed to be completed. The single player campaign. Boom. Battlefield 3. Here we go. This is why I prefer playing uh, the campaigns. Whether it's Call of Duty or Battlefield. I always prefer playing campaigns first before I do multiplayer. Because the campaigns, I see it usually as like a tutorial, you know. To like learn the buttons and my sensitivity, stuff like that, you know. I feel like it's going to be like a flashback. It's like, what were you doing on that train? Or something's gonna be, something bad is going to happen and be like, I should have stopped him. And then it's gonna be like, uh, he's not gonna get away with it this time late in the game. So it's gonna be a flashback, or we're gonna fail this event, because clearly there's bombs on the. Oh, bombs on this plane and, or, or train. I think I called it. I think I called it where it's gonna be like flash forward. I think I called it where it's gonna go back and be like, so this is how it happened six months ago so my main objective wasn't to focus on any miscellaneous trophies and even though i did trigger a few story trophies along the way and because they were story trophies they were not missable and my main objective was just to complete the main campaign on the hardest difficulty there we go boom and that's how the game starts usually they don't let you play it like again they'll just like skip through it like oh you played it before you know what it, what's gonna happen but anyway let's get through the sequence i guess oh shit Dude, this was probably so hype back in 2011, huh? It's like, oh shit, look at all the cars, look at all the, the NPCs. Obviously, the, the resolution looks like ass and all the NPCs look the same, but like... Because I just see... 
a guy with a, a white shirt being copied and pasted all over but still this looks pretty cool and just before the game ends i will get my final story trophy called between a rock and a hard place we're pressing the buttons on screen in time this is just a cutscene the the buttons the quick time events is just to see if you are paying attention because i'm pretty sure this is we're gonna kill this guy and the mission's gonna end or, or the game's gonna end so it's like oh press press uh, press r1 are you still paying attention are you still here I think that's it. A rock. Between a rock and a hard place. It is the classic battlefield sound. There we go. Finish the game on the hardest difficulty. And Ura is the other one. That's for finishing the game for the first time. Now we have to go back to chapter select and clean up the final few. So with the main campaign all now completed on the hardest difficulty, now we can go back into chapter select and clean up the final few trophies. And the first trophy I took on was called Army of Darkness, which is to shoot out the four lights with four bullets. If I had to know this, then I would have done it in my first playthrough, but um, yeah, let's just try and do this now. Luckily it's in the beginning of the level, so in case I miss, I can just quickly reload, which is fine. But I'm not gonna miss. Boom, two, boom, three, okay, one more, boom, four, wait for the PS3 being all delayed, hold on, there we go, army of darkness, nice, can I jump off, nope, I can't jump off, god damn it, and immediately after that trophy, I went into another mission, where I can get another trophy called, practice makes perfect, I have to shoot the dummies, uh, the shooting range dummies, these things, with a headshot, all of them and I, I saw this trophy on my first playthrough but i thought i had to shoot the people uh with a headshot otherwise i would have gotten it on my first playthrough but uh either way this is uh not too difficult blinded please and you okay i don't know did i shoot did i miss this one can i does that count hopefully it hopefully it counts i don't know i, I don't think i shot that one Shoot at one just in case. Okay, that's one. It's another. If I don't get the trophy, then I clearly missed that other one. Which is gonna be annoying because this mission is kind of long to get to this point. Um, it should be one that pops up here. Oh shit, there's another one. Oh shit, reload quickly. I thought that was the last one. Boom. Uh, oh, there we go. Practice makes perfect. Okay, I was actually ready to restart because I thought I missed it. Huge. So in the mission called Uprising, I should be able to get two trophies. The first one being Roadkill. I obviously did this in like the hard playthrough, but clearly it didn't kill anyone, so it didn't give me the trophy. But anyway. And now I think I did it. I don't know if I did it. PS3 is really delayed with the trophies. There we go, Roadkill. Wow, that was really delayed. In the same mission where I just killed that people with the car, I have to kill two people with... Uh, well, I have to kill them before the an earthquake strikes and a building falls on them. Oh god. Uh, okay, so... But once I step through this building, that... Um, this, once I step through this bus, a building will fall because of an earthquake, whatever. So these guys... You can see the... Oh, shit. Hang on. Okay, uh, so I clearly missed... It. Dude, is this thing not charging? This is annoying. Okay, there's the two guys. I have to kill them before the building falls. Yada, yada, yada. You understand what I need to do. I might have killed one of them, but I don't know if I killed both. I mean, I, I would have got the trophy if I didn't kill both, but... I'm just gonna go see. I'm, I'm gonna try to bulldoze and see if I can ignore these guys and just see if I can shoot one of them. This is the one. Oh my god, my recoil, please. I don't know if I got them. Yeah, okay. Well, this is an annoying trophy. I can't see shit. Oh, I got it anyway. Okay, I must have shot him because my aim was all over the place. I'll take it. In the mission called Rock in a Hard Place, there will also be two trophies waiting for me. In this mission, I have to kill someone and grab their dog tags, just like the first trophy. Um, and honestly, I actually considered doing this one. Oh, I considered doing this objective or this trophy for my last trophy so I can get the platinum. Because it would have been cool to have, like, to start the game off with killing an online player, grabbing their dog tags, you know, and then getting a trophy like that. And then ending the game off with that trophy where I kill an AI um, and grabbing their dog tags. However, 
there is another trophy later in this very mission so i might as well just complete that trophy as i just did now and then do the other trophy later in this mission but the other trophy is at the end of the mission so yeah it can be a pretty annoying trophy because if I mess up or reload from checkpoint or die or whatever, then I have to redo the whole mission. Because this sequence is uh, at the end of the level, so it's kind of annoying. Okay, there's the jet. Okay, here we go. Let's, let me lock it in. Go, 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 go. I don't know where to go. I'm just going to follow this guy. Uh, oh, shit. Wrong side. Wrong side. Get out of the way. Oh, my God. Can you move up? Can you move up? Can you move up? What is it? I have to redo the whole mission again. That is actually annoying. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna follow this guy, but uh, yeah, he clearly doesn't care about me. So there we go. So I'm just gonna stay with this guy, but make sure I'm on the right side. God, I do not want to restart this mission again, man. Okay, stay down. Okay, huge. Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Over here? I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with you. Hopefully it's not a bad idea. Hopefully he's not an NPC that's gonna die. Okay. Okay, now now I go. Over here? Do I sit here? What is that? Oh, wait. Okay, I have to, I have to get the, the, the RPG thing. First this side, and I have to go this side. Okay, pick it up. Okay. I think I have to shoot it with one, like, shot, I think. I think. Okay, lock on. Boom. That's it. Come on. Did it hit it? I didn't even see. Oh, it did hit. I didn't even see it hit. Okay. Whew, that was actually kind of stressful. I think I got it, though. There we go, butterfly, huge. And for the final trophy for this game, so I can earn the platinum, I have to complete the mission going hunting in a perfect run. So I can get the final trophy called, I can be your wingman anytime. If I fail, I have to sit through that whole long process, so I kind of don't want to fail. But let's be real, I'm probably going to fail because I need to know the sequence and all that kind of stuff uh, for this mission. Okay, the locking on. There we go. Home flare. See, I'm only allowed to shoot one flare. I can't like spam the flare button. Boom. Oh my god, the sun is so bright. Almost didn't see it. Okay. I think he's gonna shoot another one. No, he's not. Okay. Okay, we're going. So he's gonna shoot a few flares. I don't exactly know how much flares. I just have to keep paying attention. So I'm locked on. I'm ready to shoot. But if I shoot now, he's gonna activate flares. So he's shooting flares because he's scared. Just wait. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, go, go. Boom! There we go. Huge. That was clean. I messed up. I shot. I shot flares. I was supposed to shoot that guy. I have to sit through that whole cutscene again. Oh, that's so annoying. We don't shoot missiles. I mean, we don't shoot flares. We shoot missiles. Boom. Missile. And that kills him. Boom. There we go. That's two down out of seven. Oh, he said lo lost one. There we go. Lost one. Lost one. This guy stands between me and my platinum. Still shooting flares. Just give it a sec. I don't want to mess up now. Boom. Please it. Please it. Please it. Here we go. Oh, that was kind of fun, but also pretty stressful, man. Oh, what a crazy game, man. I couldn't fully enjoy the game because obviously I had the, uh, you know, knowing that this game is on a time limit. But you can be my wingman anytime and there's the platinum trophy for battlefield 3